What's going on everybody? Today is Thursday, December 5th, 2019. It's been quite a while since I made a video and today I'm showing you what I have here and what I have here is a giant mess. A giant muddy mess with sticker bushes, dead trees, old logs, and very muddy ground. But what makes this mess so special is that this mess is my mess. Yes, I own the land that we're standing on. We bought this uh, commercial, general commercial site, generally general commercial zone property. We purchased this uh, last month. I've had it for a month and we've slowly been uh, doing some work here. Now let me explain. I own over to the wooden fence. So this road, which is a shared driveway, I own. I do not own any of this. I don't own this. And I own uh, back to those willow trees over there and everything over there. So the, uh, the first thing we had to do was put in this culvert pipe to get across this little uh, waterway here. And we did um, 40 feet of culvert pipe. I smashed all my modified around it and then we had two loads of coarse shale brought in because this ground is very very wet especially right here because this is the low spot of the uh, previous yard so um, this is 1.75 acres uh, there's a crappy house in the back here that obviously is not part of it but 1.75 acres on Route 248 in Lehigh Township, Walnutport. But uh, one thing that makes this really cool is this stream that is running through here. So it's actually uh, kind of cool because there's a stream and I can do a lot with it. But at the same time, it kind of cuts through the front part of the property here, limiting my usable space. And back here, as you can see, it gets pretty wet in this section, but I do own um, everything up here. Oh, I don't know, it goes up here another 75 feet and uh, it goes back to right before where it starts to go up the hill. So it's 200 feet by 400 feet. Um, my plan for the stream, tons and tons of deer tracks here. My plan for the stream is to get all these, there was old paths in here, get all these beautiful rocks that are here and dredge this stream out, make this real nice, at least from down there, right through here, probably up to the corner here, line this with rocks, dredge this out, and make this really nice so we can sit here and enjoy it. But um, as you can see, what I'm doing here is this entire thing, like you see here is sticker bushes and dead trees. I guess it was an old, it was part of that property up there and it was like six and a half acres, it was a pasture. So we are clearing, this is a nice tree, but it's gonna have to go. We're gonna clear all this right to, right to this oak and clear all this uh, with the exception of maybe like this one's nice, this thing's dead. We're gonna clear all this so we have more room to come in here with our trucks and our trailers. Uh, we'll have more room to swing in here and uh, get all this crap burned up, get all this junk out of here, and then eventually, eventually, it's very wet here, we're gonna get a dozer in here and get all this topsoil off, cause it's just like a giant sponge. And we'll clear all this, like I said, there's really, there's no good trees in here at all to the stream. This is, you can see it's all junk. I don't even know what this is, but small trees, nothing special. Maybe a couple of these oaks in here. We'll leave those oaks, but clear all this probably to that oak there. And then eventually you can see we planted arbs there already. The area that I'm standing in now, oh, I don't know, a nice 40 by 60 pole building. Um, garage doors facing this way, um, eventually. But this is high and dry here, so I need to clear this. So like our little road will come up here and then we can swing around with the trucks and the trailers, back them in against the arbs there, and just park. So I've been operating out of my house for quite some time. We've been in business for 
oh, we started in 2010, so almost 10 years. And finally, I found this piece of commercial land 1.5 miles from my house, four minutes away. And uh, 248 is right behind this nice row of arbs, which I'm definitely gonna leave them. That's why I planted some more there and I'll probably plant even more here. But uh, this will be our new site. This is gonna be awesome for, I've already purchased a um, shipping container. I'm gonna get probably two shipping containers here for temporary. We'll have a salt bin here for next year. So many options for us with the commercial land, but you can really see that, of course, this is the low spot right here and uh, it's very wet. So we'll have to get all this topsoil stripped out of here. I thought these, uh, this coarse shale would do better, but it is a little spongy hookout timber. Uh, the excavator you see here, E45 is not mine. As I talked about in old videos, I sold my uh, John Deere 50. I sold that probably three months ago already and purchased a brand new, larger mini excavator, um, which should be here finally. There's a custom order, nothing on the lot. It should be here the second week of December. I'm not gonna say what it is just yet, but I will tell you that it is made or was made in South Korea. So a little, little teaser there. I'll get a video of that going when it gets here, but I'm pretty excited about the new machine. But the uh, the dealer that I, I bought it from, maybe it's already given away by looking at the side of the machine. This is a loaner because I told them there's no way I can be without a machine. It's been, uh, I don't know, geez, three months since we ordered it. So, but uh, yeah, that's the deal. So commercial land, uh, 248 Walnutport, Pennsylvania, PA Winter Services. It will be eventually our new commercial headquarters not we will it's gonna it's gonna take all winter until we get all this cleared out of here the way I want it doze off the topsoil get more loads of shale in here just so we can drive in here because even with my pickup truck I mean this is the excavator but it's just super greasy on top here it's all clay so the water sitting right on top and uh, of course with this little stream that runs over here it really really keeps everything pretty wet but uh, a lot of rocks I can do a lot of good things with these rocks here I'm gonna take some back to my house put them around the pole building use these rocks over here in the stream make this nice clean this up um, some of these hardwoods are gonna stay this one's dead but we'll clean up some of these smaller ones make the road kind of sweep in here this one like I said has to go and uh, should be good so that's a little update for you and thanks for watching <laughs>